What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rex Righteous, and I'm back with another rap fan. All right, so I wanted to make a video talking about why isn't anyone talking about Lomachenko versus Pedrasha and Canelo versus uh, Rocky. So I wanted to know. What is it that people truly believe when it comes to these people? Like, I mean, Rocky Fielding isn't a great fighter. We can check over his, uh, his, his box wrecks and stuff like that. It's not going to be anything spectacular. Anyway, how you guys are doing, man? I don't want to tell you that I got a bunch of stuff here. But, uh, I know you can't have a conversation with me. But I hope everything's going good as I'm looking for this stuff. Now we back on it. So, Rocky Fielding is 27 and 1. He's the W. WBA super middleweight champion. So uh, the last couple guys he's fought were in 2018. He's fought twice. He had a TKO versus Tyron's huge and Corral Hor Jacek. Hor. This is not a good idea for me to try it. And continue, but looks like they all have some titles, and he's there's some titles here. World Boxing Council International Super Middleweight. So uh, he he had the WBC, WBA, a lot of titles, little trinkets. Um. Yeah, he's been fighting since 2010. It's 2018 now. Uh, looks like he's fought. 2017, he fought twice. 2016, he fought twice. 2015, he fought three times. 2014, he fought twice. 2013, he fought five times. Some of the guys he had, they fought... Uh, had a bit of losses, and then Colum Smith is who he lost to. And Colum Smith is 25 and 0, which is the guy that was rumored to fight Triple G. He fought George Groves, and he beat him. So we all know what those guys can do. I'm not a I'm not big on uh some of these guys, but they look like they get their W's, like they they're fighters. They're they're pretty up there when it comes to British boxing. It's hard to even talk crazy about them. I don't want to talk crazy. I want to inform you guys, but the point is, is that how come nobody's talking about these fighter these fights? You know, Canelo versus Rocky Fielding. Is it possible that Canelo can lose this fight? Is it possible? Alright. We're going to have to look into that. So that fight will be on December 15th. Okay. So the next fight that's up next is Lomachenko versus Pradasha. Or I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, Pradasa. Pradasa. 
Pedraza. There it is, Pedraza. <laughs> All right, man. Sorry. They're fighting to unify. Okay. I don't see too many people talking about it. I see people on, on ESPN. And I was kind of waiting for some hype. But I guess uh, the last couple fights that uh, Lomachenko's had uh, has been on the big stage. And the guys never showed up. I mean, the last guy he fought, Jorge Linares, that guy showed up. I thought it was a good fight. But maybe it's because he's older or maybe that division is just ain't hot enough. So uh, I'm here on ESPN checking up on anything that could, you know, be of interest. I said, uh, they're asking about his shoulder. He says, I had a very interesting camp. I had a, I had hard sparring sessions and good preparation for this fight. Lomachenko said, I used all of my punches and I think it will be the same as before the surgery. I'm 100%. I feel good. When the injury happened, I was mentally prepared to deal with it. He said, I still had my feet. I still had another hand. I am very competitive. I feel like when you step in the ring, you need to finish the fight. It was the first time I was knocked down as a pro. After the knockdown, I came back and finished the fight. It was a tough fight, but I showed the heart of a champion. It was good for me to rest, he said. I have been boxing since I was a child. I had a lot of competition. It was my first rest and the first big, big vacation in my life. Okay. Padasa responded, no, absolutely not. The shoulder's not a big deal. Okay. So, I've been looking into this fight, man, and and it's, it's just, it's just one of those fights where if Lomachenko gets the win, everybody's going to be like, yeah, we know. Dan Raphael's prediction is Lomachenko by late knockout. But the biggest thing about this is is the is the unification. So uh, yeah, but still, these are fights that still should be uh, what's it called? Hyped up a little bit more. Are you guys hyped to watch it? Uh, there's plenty more of boxing uh, for this year. Um, but I want to know, are you excited about it? Um, you know, you got Javante Davis in the mix. You got Mikey Garcia in the mix. What if Pedraza somehow miraculously hurts Lomachenko or defeats him? Are you guys hyped for another year? Or are you ready for some, some big fights at the end of this year? Let me know. Comment, man. Like share ADM boxing uh Facebook at Raf Legend one eight three on Instagram and Twitter. Peace out.